What is up guys? Jake from OneHive here with the next war recap video. This is the one you guys have been waiting on, the war we had against Reddit Lithium. Uh, turned out to be a pretty good win in our favor. Um, we did have a bit of an advantage as far as like, not really town hall wise, but as far as like hero levels and uh, some, well they had pretty good walls, you know, maybe some wall levels too. Uh, but heroes really, we had a, a bit of an advantage. Uh, but it was a fun war. Uh, you know, I feel a little bit uh, like we got, I, I'm not going to say lucky. We were just firing on all cylinders. Uh, the guys really were keyed up when this war happened because it was one that we tried to get and we missed uh, on the matchup. And I mean, everybody was in group me and in on Twidla and on TeamSpeak and planning their attacks out. And it was like everybody just took it freaking seriously. Uh, you know, maybe for the first time in a while. Everybody was, you know, game planning and, and just strategizing, and it was all about the stars, you know. It was just everybody about getting stars. And we came out so hot. I've never, even against, you know, bad farming clan bases, I've never seen anything like it. 17 of our first 18 attacks were three stars. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. Uh, everybody just, I mean, focus brought their A game, and brought amazing attacks. So good job to everybody at One Hive, and good job to everybody at Lithium. Um, you know, probably, uh, they were probably experiencing a little bit of what I've been talking about. They're probably not used to seeing bases like ours. They're not running into these uh, upgraded bases with that are good layouts and high-level heroes, and uh, it's something that they're not probably used to. Uh, but they, they did fight hard, and they, they had a little trouble, you know, with their Town Hall 9s, 3-star and ours, but they did have some good attacks and some good bases. So uh, props to you guys. Keep your head up. Uh, you know, I think it was a closer war than the score reflects, if that makes any sense. We just we just started out really hot. Um, all right, let's look at some attacks, though. And you're going to see some. Like, actually, you've already seen some in the uh, background of the One Hive History video. So you can check some more attacks out there. But some of my favorites here, and I could show you guys, I mean, literally... <laughs> This could have been, I, I almost wish this was our top to bottom war because it was, there were so many good attacks by our guys. But let's look at Big taking on number four, uh, their top Town Hall 9. Comes in on the side over here with a three Golem Goho. So pretty interesting attack here. Just dropped a two, a two of his own there. Uh, spreads out some wizards to create that funnel. Uh, the queen goes down. And then uh, right there, the last Golem goes down. And here comes some wall breakers just to let everything in. All uh, right, let's see where are they at wall breakers. He's waiting on that wizard, I think, to splash damage on game right there. He spreads them off to the side a little bit. A couple more, boom, right there. Everything's in. Uh, comes right in the side here. Uh, uh, drops some witches out of the uh, CC, which is to sort of get in there and help take out those uh, clan castle troops. Uh, uses a jump spell to let everything into the queen. Uses that rage right there. You know, instead of bringing a lightning, some of these guys had uh, dragons in their CCs. Yeah, this was a first attack. He didn't know what was here. Uh, instead of doing that, just goes ahead and brings a rage for those witches and that queen. Uh, they're going to take care of the CC pretty quick. And then right here, watch this. This is pretty key. Uh, Golem split and spread out, and all four giant bombs get triggered. So now at this point, he's only got 22 hogs, but that is more than enough when you still have golems doing some tanking. You still have both heroes up. Actually, the king just went down. I'm sorry. No, the king's still up. Uh, still have both heroes up, and you have two heal spells for 20-something hogs with no bombs. Uh, so just start surgical hogging it, uh, coming in from different sides here, uh, dropping heals where the hogs need it, and then some on the backside, and just absolutely runs through this space. Uh, really impressive attack. Again, uh, maybe a little bit of luck, just the fact that those giant bombs were right there, and he did trigger all four of them with his kill squad, but uh, just... Perfect planning, perfect execution uh, on a very high level base. Uh, so good job to Big. We'll start to fast forward here because everything is down. It's just the hogs and the troops doing the cleanup here. They're basically just hogs and the queen. Uh, but that's fine. That'll get the job done. All right, moving on. Uh, Accurate design. Man, he is just on a tear lately. I have, and I'll take a moment just to tell you guys. The slump is official. I mean, I am in a slump. I did not three-star this war. Both of my attacks just crap going wrong. I mean, it's just like everything I try, something goes wrong lately, and it's it's driving me crazy. So I'm just trying to stay upbeat because of how amazing everyone else did, but I am kind of down in the dumps at my own performance. But the reason that I thought of that is accurate is I'm just on a tear. I mean, I, I want to be 
doing his attacks lately and him doing mine because he is killing it every time he goes out, just bringing amazing attacks. Uh, right here, coming in from the side, no lure, just jump spell for that golem right there and the king and queen to come right in. His goal here is just the one air defense, the archer queen, and the CC troops. Uh, again, you see what I'm talking about. He actually did bring the lightning, but there was a dragon in there. Goes ahead and, and drops it on those uh, few ground troops that were there. But now the queen's got to deal with that dragon. And luckily, the king just gets in there and takes out the defensive queen uh, before the dragon took his king out so gets the job done there the air defense is down now that queen right there uses the ability takes out the the dragon now all's well uh just has to start sending in his lava hounds his balloons coming in different angles and look at this here's a maxed out <laughs> here's a max if i say the lava or the air sweeper is no good it's 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 worthless a maxed out air sweeper he comes right at it i mean right in its face doesn't even matter i mean it pushes the the golem back the lava hound back a little bit uh, the, the ones that come in from the side eventually make their way there and just keeps dropping rages for his balloons. It just, uh, air sweeper is debunked, guys. Trust me when I tell you, if you're failing on your uh, air attacks, your Lalunian attacks, it is it has to do with something other than the air sweeper. You've done something else wrong. Because uh, I've seen too many attacks just like this one go directly at it. Ignore it like it's not even there and get the three star. So Akerzine's one of those. He's just killing it. Uh, you see the... Lava pups spread out all over the place. Balloons. He still got a lava hound that didn't even bust. Uh, just absolutely crushed that base. Very nice attack. Uh, and again, a, a, another first uh, attack three star. I mean, it was just almost all of these are first attack three stars. Uh, you see, you could tell from the lightning and the, and the dragon there. He didn't even know it was in the CC. Uh, next one. This one actually is a cleanup attack. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know it is. Uh, Lala taking on number ten. Um, let's see. What did Lala do here? She brought a goho. Uh, just a, I think just the one golem, maybe two golems. Drops a giant, a few hogs, just to get in here, get in range of the CC. Uh, does have to take that cannon out, but right there, one extra. Uh, when the Tesla pops, she drops one extra hog. Gets the CC lured out pretty easy. It's got some high uh, troop space targets in there. The couple balloons, the witch, and a few minions. So pretty easy to get it all out. Then just drops an anchor over here to the side. Uh, a few barbs for distraction. Her witches go down. And then obviously going to back it up with her queen, I'm pretty sure, right there. Yeah, get those minions taken care of. Uh, everything's going down pretty quick. Just got to wait for that uh, witch to get out there, to get out and expose herself. Uh, one of the golems right here. Actually, that's all. Did she No, yeah, right there, two golems. So it's covered up by that balloon. Uh, golem on each side here, wall breakers to open everything up, and then obviously has a jump spell to let uh, the king, once the funnel's created, uh, to get in there into that uh, defensive queen in the core. So right there, the king goes down, uh, dropped it just in time before that wizard tower went down so it would make its way in, and then again, the jump spell, perfectly placed. Everything's working its way in here. The golems are still not even busted into golemites, plus all those skeletons out front taking just loads of tanks uh, for, for, its DP, for her DPS here. Uh, the king is sort of straying off, getting distracted by that defensive king, but uses the ability, and then right here, I think, right, yep, gets sucked right into the queen there, uh, and she gets taken out. Then Lala just comes in this with a surgical hog, uh, just sort of working away around the base. Again, I think this was a cleanup attack. She knew where everything was, so it was, uh, you know, easy for her to plan where she wanted to drop her heels. Uh, you see the kill squad still moving its way in, taking advantage of that jump spell right before it runs out. The golem's getting in there, doing some more tanking. I mean, just huge value for those golems. Um, drops a giant down at the bottom there with the last few hogs that she's got and another heal spell. And this one, you can see she's got plenty of hogs left and only a few defensive buildings left to deal with. Uh, so this one's over. Right there, double bombs do take out a pretty good chunk of her hogs, uh, but she's got just enough left. No heal spells, but again, the queen's still up. Uh, still has a golem up doing some tanking, but, you know, it, it's over at this point. You're just going to get around there. That last giant bomb goes off. Boom. Last defense goes down. Got some wizards on the top already working on cleanup. Uh, so everything is good on this one. Very, very nice three-star by Lala. All right. Let's look at one more. And, again, I'm, I'm, I don't want to short you guys on this. I want to give this war the respect it deserves because it was such an amazing war. Uh, but I want to uh, – I've got several of them on the – on the other video, so we don't want to just show every single attack. Uh, Stolly versus 15. Don't know why I like this one so much, I just did. It was just a nice attack, uh, just sort of, you know, just a great attack. Uh, I'm glad to see that Stolly brought uh, Laloon for this because of the fact that, look at the air defense, underdeveloped air defense. You know, this, this is a pretty well 
develop Town Hall 9. You see even the air sweepers maxed out, but I, for some reason, purposefully, these air defenses have left been left not upgraded. I don't really understand that, but uh, when you run into that, boom, it, uh, la, la loon over hogs immediately because it's just you're just going to wreck it that way uh, the cc troops are coming out uh, created a nice funnel there with the jump spell letting everything in there to get to that queen the king sort of ignores it but finally he just like wakes up uh, runs back over there gets locked onto her and takes her out so one air defense down uh excuse me two air defenses down she took out one with the or sorry, says she he took out one with the uh hogs there so really Two air defenses left, a few lava hounds. You see, I love how he sent that one lava hound in the whole length of the base across through there, uh, just to tank a little bit for those balloons as they were working their way in, and then just sort of swarms it on the backside with some more balloons, uh, rage spells to get them, get them in there to those air defenses, the last two that were remaining. And at this point right here, boom, that last one goes down. No air defenses left, and just a lot of balloons. I mean, not no lava hounds. You know, actually, I think he's got one lava hound left hanging for that expo, uh, but. The balloons just doing it on their own pretty much here. Now, working their way through. Last few defenses are going down. I only brought two lava hounds and uh, I think, or maybe three. And see, he's only got, what, four or so pups left? Three or four pups left. Uh, so a lot of cleanup had to be done by these, uh, you know, by his king working there and by these balloons. Uh, so really probably was close on time, but still a very good attack. Brought the right, uh, the right composition for the base when they had that underdeveloped air defense, uh, didn't go with hogs, went with that, and did just bring, I'm sorry, no, three, yeah, three lava hounds. So really good job uh, to everybody at one time. Again, I've never seen a clan, us or any other clan, come out that hot. Uh, in fact, I'll just show you on the on the start of it here. Look at this. Watch this, watch this run. Look at these three stars. You see Noah almost, I mean 90%, he almost got the three star there. It just didn't happen. Went all the way up. I mean, look at that. I've never seen anything like it. I think Terra Lock right there. Nope, Nate. Yep, Nate right there was the last one. And then we said, you know, it kind of got started getting to a normal mix. But unbelievable job uh, to everybody, uh, both clans. Good job, guys. Good, well, uh, hard fought battle. Uh, just didn't work out this time. Maybe we'll do it again in the future sometime uh, when you guys get your, your heroes and stuff leveled up and it's a little bit more even. I think it would be fun. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.